So my project uh, explores uh, basically uh, the border of uh, physical and digital, really that kind of uh, space where it's not absolutely clear whether it is physical or digital. Uh, and I, I use uh, scanners for this. So for me, the, the project, uh, it's, uh, it's really an evolution of, uh, let's say, long-term uh, development. So it's uh, it, it's it's a continuation, but at the same time, some of the some of the approaches they were sitting in my uh, folder <laughs> for for very very long time, and I didn't know exactly what to do with them. I, I was always aware there were some interesting uh, techniques that I was uh, experimenting with, but uh, now I few months ago I I, I took them uh, and started to uh, explore uh, new directions with them and. Uh, it also kind of blended and merged with uh, with the projects uh, based on uh, real time three D scanning uh, for virtual reality. Yeah, my installation uh, it's it's uh, fairly complex technically. I'll be using maybe seven four uh, D lidar sensors, uh, uh, many computers, many graphic cards, and. It's, it's really a challenge to put all this together uh, uh, and make it work. Because, uh, uh, yeah, with these technologies, it's not really a plug and play uh, situation. Uh, it's, uh, it's stressful. Uh, but at the same time, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward uh, to see the, the final complex thing uh, finally go together. So, uh, yeah, it's. Uh, most let's say technical challenges uh, such as uh, optimization of uh, of the graphical performance of my system because uh, yeah i'm using uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, spatially distributed pixels every uh, or 30 times a second from multiple sensors and uh, the graphical performance uh, when you interpret such data uh, as uh, lines, cubes in space with maybe some transparencies and different type of uh, graphical relationship. It's, uh, it's fairly, fairly complex and uh, needs a lot of computing power. Uh, but there is also, let's say, conceptual uh, and theoretical challenges uh, uh, in both installation or both, let's say, approaches, the, the four-dimensional four real-time scanning as well as uh, my, my portraits to kind of resolve uh, the relationship of detail into uh, or with, uh, let's say, the, the, the system itself. Uh, how uh, can I present with the scans that have extreme resolution over 20,000 pixels? Uh, how do I present the detail? Or if, if I even can present the detail in these kind of digital uh, images, uh, so there are, there are different kind of questions I'm dealing with. And uh, I think ultimately the, the answer will, will come just, you know, just before the, the, the exhibition opening as I see the, the things finally set up in the space. There will be basically three installations uh, kind of linked together. So the first one will be uh, the new portraits that I've been working on recently. And that will simply be just a, a portrait uh, screen uh, on the wall. This uh, screen wall installation basically takes four dimensions and uh, turns it into uh, orthographical two-dimensional representation of, uh, of that reality. And the third installation will be a virtual reality set up, again using the, uh, the, the LiDAR sensors. Uh, to basically turn the, the physical space into its digital version. So if you would uh, have the VR on and you would look at your hands, they will still be there, but they will be in uh, this liquid situation where these displacements and deformations and transformations and layering turn this uh, uh, digital version uh, of reality uh, into, uh, let's say, a, representation of my expression of, uh, of this uh, interpretation. 
I would like to invite the audience uh, to really explore uh, their relationship uh, with, with space and time through my installation. Because, yeah, everyone, everyone has a different uh, views, different perspectives, but uh, yeah, my installation really uh, invite, invites you to, to explore your, your uh, own uh, relationship to uh, movement, to uh, delay, to, uh, uh, to stretch of time, to, uh, to the flux of, of space and time. So I would like you to uh, yeah, really explore your body in that, uh, in that setup. Uh, not only our body, but also yeah, the, how your uh, perce perception of, uh, of time evolves throughout the installation uh, as it will also capture time in, uh, uh, in interesting ways. So I invite you to come to Pragovka on the 17th uh, of June uh, and explore uh, my installation called the Enverse uh, uh, in uh, multiple dimensions. Mm -hmm.